So hello and welcome back. So this time I want to talk about number four and that's the fourth comparison that we're going to give with a narcissist and a normal person, a normal partner. And this is off the Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of the American Psychiatric Association, shortened to the DSM-5. So the fourth trait that they talk about that indicates a person has narcissistic personality disorder is that a narcissist requires excessive admiration. And how? They need constant fuel and in the early days when you meet them, it's easy to keep pumping the positive fuel in because you're usually infatuated or besotted or you might even believe you've fallen in love because the love bombing has worked and you actually have fallen in love with this illusion of fabulousness that this person seems to be. With a narcissist, we no, it's all about them and they have to be the constant center of the universe and you have to be giving them praise and adoration all the time and if you start to tire of this and let's face it you will because no one can keep this up they'll start getting bitchy about it they'll often demand that you tell them how gorgeous they are how much you love them how amazing and special they are and you will know deep down that this isn't normal and kind of maybe more red flags starting to pile up. Now on the opposite end of the spectrum, a genuine loving partner, even when you meet them, does not need constant attention and admiration. They appreciate a compliment like most of us do and it's always nice to give and receive compliments. But you won't have to wear yourself out commenting on every aspect of how they look and what they're wearing and how amazing they are at this, that and the other. For a normal person, it's enough when the partner says, you know, wow, you look great or wow, well done. And they don't need to hear the stuff all the time. So again, think about the person you're with, especially if you're dating right now. Are you seeing these kind of behaviors and contrast it with what a normal person does? Because if you get yourself into a relationship with this person and they are a narcissist, you are going to live to regret it massively. So thank you for watching. Please feel free to share any comments with me of your experiences of these comparisons in the comments. I'd love to hear from you and I'll see you again soon with the next one. Bye for now.